Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Colt 45 show. Today I have your NFL Sunday, not Sunday um, results and Monday result. All in one. I'll try to make it all in one here. So we got the game. I got you guys results from Sunday. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this in the end that I talked about them. We have the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo beating Arizona by the score of 33 to 18. Buffalo is now one and two. Arizona is one and two. What? That's a, I was, the Buffalo is going to be 0 oh and three. But I was wrong, and I picked Arizona. Arizona was looking pretty hot. So, so what can I say? The Oakland Raiders. The Oakland Raiders, people. This is this is um. This is some shocking news. The Oakland Raiders beat the Tennessee Titans by the score of 17 to 10, and Oakland is now two and one. San Diego Chargers, man, watch out! <laughs> the Raiders are looking pretty decent. Looking pretty decent. Both well, Tennessee. It's like it's like when my Vikings first played their first game. Oh, it's just Tennessee. The next game, oh, it's just Green Bay. Oh, third game, oh, it's just Carolina. Like they, said, like they said with the freaking Eagles. Oh, it's just Cleveland Browns. Oh, it's just the um, Chicago Bears. Oh, it's just the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fucking, you guys are, you guys are stupid. Um, so, Oakland's 2-1 and one, Tennessee's 1-2. and two. So then we have Washington Redskins beating the New York Giants. Holy crap. Washington becomes 1-2. and two. New York Giants become 2-1. And one, and the, by the score of 29-27. And Eli Manning at the last second throws an interception. Throws a pick. What a dumbass fucking Eli Manning throw the energy. You guys saw that? I did the intercession pick. Yeah. Look at Eli Manning. If you guys didn't see it, go go back. It's like towards the end, like the last second of the fourth quarter. Pick throw the interception. Well, he's gonna get it. Then Miami beats the next thing, Miami Dolphins beat the Cleveland Cleveland Browns by the score of 30 to 24. Cleveland is 0 and 3. Miami is 1 and 2, and Washington is 1 and 2, and New York is 2 and 1. And this is because it's in the me. So then we have Baltimore and Jacksonville. Baltimore beats Jacksonville by the score of th- by the score of ni- 19 to 17. Baltimore becomes 3 and 0. Jacksonville becomes 0 and 3. There's a bunch of 0 and 3 teams, but I think the two, the best two 0 and 3 teams that are standing out, that are shining right now, the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm just saying. Okay. So then we have Detroit Lions versus Green Bay, and Detroit Lions lose to Green Bay by the score of 34 to 27. Uh, Detroit becomes 1 and 2. Green Bay becomes 2 and 1. Then we have the Denver Broncos beating Cincinnati by a score of 29-17. Broncos now become 3-0. And Cincinnati becomes 1-2. Decent game. So far, I didn't want to see all of them. I, did, I actually did get Sunday ticket, finally. Um, I don't have um, DirecTV or anything like that. Oh, what is it now? AT&T DirecTV? Uh, I don't have that. My brother does. So he gave me, because I have the Roku, that streaming stick, and I get and all of a sudden tickets. He gave me his password. So I wanted to see my Minnesota game, and I did, so... And then next, we have my Minnesota Vikings. Skull Vikings, what a score. Skull Vikings, let's get a first down, let's get a touchdown. Rock em, suck em. fight, 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 fight. Minnesota's now 3 and 0. Oh. That's right, you guys heard it from me. My Minnesota Vikings are now 3 and 0. Oh. They beat Carolina by the score of 22 to 10. And they actually did play the game in Carolina, but there were protesters and all that stuff. I had all that stuff at the game, at the tailgating and all that. So, but we win by the score 22 to 10, and we're 3 and 0. And Carolina's 1 and 2. And the next we have the LA Rams beats Tampa Bay. Come on, see. Come on. Beats LA Rams. Shocker, right? 2 and 1 Rams. They're like they're like Oakland Raiders right now. Oakland Raiders are 2 and 1. Rams are 2 and 1. The right the Rams are just sucky. The Rams, I think, are the worst team to me, on my on my perspective. Who do I think? Oh, yeah, cause LA now, so you have to get the whole vibe and try to win for the fans in LA. Cause I just went down there not too long ago. I was not not in LA, but I passed by LA and I see all the signs, posters, 
we're home with things like Lake Todd Gurley on the poster and like the sound 103 10 10 10 0.3 or something like that 103 the sound is like a LA station music station there sponsored by the LA Rams stupid the LA Rams did win by the score of 30 37 to 32 over 10 Bay LA Rams go 2 and 1 10 Bay because when 2 then we have San Francisco Gets beaten by Seattle by the score of 37 to 18. San Fran becomes one and two. Seattle becomes two and one. Then we have the New York Jets losing to Kansas City. Yeah, I saw a little bit of those highlights. I was, yeah, I, I don't know. That was just one hell of a crazy game, you know. But Kansas City destroys them, 24 to three. Just like I'm gonna talk about in this next game. There's another team that only got three points, and people are gonna be like. It's just Steelers. Well, don't kill yourself, okay? All right, we gotta do. Oh, it's just the Steelers. It's just the Steelers. But next we have San Diego Chargers. They lose to the Colts by the score of 32 to 26. I did see that game. At the last second, I guess when they had the, they had like a couple seconds, so they punt the ball, right? Then the, then all the players surround, all the Colts players surround the ball, and they picked up the ball. So they sort of like. Sorry about that. So they pick up the ball. So then they're like, the game's over. All right, so. Cool, great, the game's over. But then the city referee's huddling and looking and talking to each other. Like, okay, the game's not over yet. So they give the Chargers one more play for mercy. So what do they do? They throw the ball. Flippers throw the ball to one of the team. Not even far, like a medium pass. Now that player comes in behind it, hits the player from the back, and that was your game. They get one more chance to try to pull it off here, and they blew it. But they throw the ball, right? He gets, like, mid-pass, and he's running a little bit, and all of a sudden, that goes way from behind, just hits him from, me, and from the back, and hit it from the back, and that's it. So then we have, like I'm going to say, um, San Diego comes 1-2, one and, one and, and the Colts are 1-2, so they're both even on the same record. Um, then we have this game I'm telling you guys about. The Philadelphia Eagles beat Pittsburgh Steelers in Philadelphia by the score of 34 to 3. You guys like, like, I've been watching all these Eagles fans. I'm a big fan of EDP, eat that, 445, whatever his name is. I like the other guy, I forgot his name was. He always played that 76 or something. But. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's just the ba- it's just the Browns. Oh, it's just the it's just the, it's just the Bears. Oh, it's just it's just the Steelers. Well, why don't you go play the Steelers and tell me it's just the Steelers? And you're gonna play tell my Vikings. Oh, it was just you know the Tennessee Titans. Oh, it's just the Packers. Oh, it's just the Carolina Panthers. Well, fuck all you guys. Oh, because we're an easy team. They're not easy. To, I mean, the, yeah, get the Browns are easy, but the Bears are not so that that easy. And neither. And and neither are the um the Steelers. So I don't know why they're giving them shit about that. But yep. So then we have the Monday night recap to wrap up week three. We have Atlanta Falcons. Versus the um, yes, yeah, so the Eagles win that game. Oh, we have one more Chicago Sunday night game. We have Chicago Bears versus the Dallas Cowboys. Chicago loses to Dallas Cowboys, score 31 17. Everything. Oh, now let's talk more about Dak Prescott after they only won what two games here, and uh, Eagles won three. Yeah. We, they only won three. They're talking more about Dak. They're going to talk more about Dak Prescott than freaking, freaking what's his name. I don't know. Oh, then Carson went. Sorry. Then Carson went. That's all I did. Even you when they lost the first game, they still talked more about Dak Prescott than Carson went. So Carson went to win the first game. It's sad that they're giving more praise because he went to actual, uh, a well-known school, not an FBS school, and actually something that people know, you know, like Mississippi. Mississippi Bulldogs, and Carson Wentz is not the first table in FBS school. It's like, they're giving him shit about that, but whatever. So then we have the Philly, they lose. 
They was 31 to 17, so, and they had Brian Hoyer, right? So the Bears are 0 3, and the Dallas Cowboys 2 1. So we had the Monday night wrap up to wrap up week three, and that is Atlanta Falcons. Like I, already, like I said, I'm going to pick Atlanta over, over New Orleans, and guess who comes out on top? Mm hmm. Atlanta. I know. The same time I'm looking so good. Come on, Breeze. Hey. I. I, I I told you guys, Breeze ain't gonna step up in the game. So Atlanta picks up the win last night over the Saints, 45 to 32. Let me know what you guys think about all those games from Sunday to Monday to wrap up Week Three. Then we start Week Four Thursday night again. Uh, Miami versus the Bengals. Third week of color rush. Let's see who they're gonna wear. I think it's in Cincinnati. Let's see who the Bengals are gonna wear. Then whatever the Dolphins wear, white. <laughs> so yeah. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. I'll upload it for you guys. So look at all the games. I think I'm going to do it th this way now because I used to just do all the Sunday games and then the Sunday night game. All in one video and then I used to do the Monday night game separate but I'm going to do it all in one video. So thank you guys for watching. I'll go home make me some Arnold Palmer. It's hot man. I'm going to need some lemon and some tea some fresh Arnold Palmer. That's a good clean That's a good clean drink. So I don't know what you guys think. And that's a memory.